your program and set the update feature. So we'll download definitions of what type of files may be malicious, such as file type, name or programming. The update will run, download and install automatically. Scan viruses, select which type of scan you wish to perform, such as standard is recommended, intensive or quick, they click run. You can see that it is checking files progressively, when complete you can delete the files. I can't show it now because it takes a very long time. To update anti-spyware, simply click update down under definitions. To scan, simply click start and choose type of scan. When complete, as you can see, 152 spyware objects were detected. Click next and select all shown objects to quarantine and delete the spyware. System Restore involves reverting systems to settings of a previous time through checkpoints. To create one, go to System Restore on the System Tools and enter the name of your new checkpoint. To use a system restore, simply click restore my computer to an earlier time and then select the checkpoint to either you created or the system automatically created to reverse that time. Then click next. Your computer will restart to allow it to revert. Storage management and archiving simply involves keeping your files in a way that you can easily find them if you need to or keeping a backup. To do this, select the file and go to send to, then select the drive you wish to send the file to. As you can see, if I enter the drive, the file I sent there has appeared there and it is archived. This involves keeping your files in a system and structure so that they're organised so you can easily find them, such as creating new folders as you've just seen, to keep it properly organised. This involves deleting temporary internet files and cookies on your computer to ensure it does not run slowly. For this, go to Internet Options and you'll be given this menu. On Browse History, click on Delete. You'll then be given this menu and you can choose to delete temporary internet files or cookies or history. This cleanup can check and calculate how much unnecessary files you have on your computer and then give you the option to delete them all in one big go. For this, go to Disk Cleanup, then select the drive you wish to clean up. Here it's calculating how much you can delete. Then given this menu, which one is probably best to select all the files to get the most out of it. Here it is deleting the files. Removing unnecessary software ensures you don't have any programs that you don't use that will take up precious disk space. For this, go to Control Panel and select Add and Remove Programs. As you can see, I have a list of all my programs I have installed on my computer here. I'm going to select one I rarely use. This, I simply click Remove and it takes me through the uninstall process.
Empty your recycle bin is simple and useful. Simply go to empty recycle bin and click yes. Defragmenting moves data written to your hard drive to ensure that it can be found and used quickly. It will give you a visual readout of your current hard drive state and its state after defragmentation. Simply click defragment to run. Backup is important in the event of a hard drive failure to ensure that you have a copy of all your files. Simply so copy your files and take it to a destination drive, then click paste.